Hey everyone, Jim and Elena here with Mark Joseph Realty. Hey guys. We're out here in the, the celery field in Sarasota County. Yes, and as realtors, we would like very much to show you all of Sarasota and Manatee counties and what it has to offer. So today we're going to be in the cel celery fields and we're going to take a hike up a mountain. <laughs> and a mountain in Sarasota is about 75 feet. <laughs> Highest point in Sarasota County. Highest point County. in Sar Sarasota. We're going to go on a hike. Let's go together. Let's Come go. on, let's go. Let's go. In the 1920s, the fields were used to grow celery crop by the local farmers, hence the name the Celery Fields. In 1995, Sarasota County acquired this 400 plus acre site that now serves as a primary stormwater collection zone, allowing it to provide a dual purpose of public safety and recreation. The Celery Fields provides activities such as walking, biking, fishing, and wildlife viewing. Elena and I took a hike up the left side of this 75 foot man-made observation peak. As we approached the top of the peak, our view became breathtaking with fields of greens and several ponds that could be seen in the distance. Once you reach the top of the slope, pathways guide you through gardens and to the lookout points. There are wooden benches to sit, relax, and take in the views. You will find yourself in a delightful garden of several different species of birds, colorful butterflies, and lush greenery. Let's take in the sounds. The back side of the mountain has routes that return you to your starting point. Notice to the left, the Big Cat Habitat and Gulf Coast Sanctuary. This ever-growing and large animal rescue is a must-see for the kids, young and old, while visiting Sarasota. Sarasota's first microforest was planted here and is maintained by the Florida veterans. The benefits of a microforest are intercepting water and returning it to the sky, protecting the soil and preventing erosion, reducing runoff that carries pollutants, minimizing red tide by keeping nutrients out of the bay, and storing water and releasing it slowly to prevent flash flooding. Pretty amazing stuff. In early 2001, the Sarasota Audubon Nature Center, which also sits on the grounds, began conducting bird surveys in the celery fields. To date, 246 species have been recorded. In May of 2011, the county planted more than 200,000 aquatic plants and trees, plus constructed two boardwalks that provide excellent opportunities for wildlife watching. Here's an aerial view of the celery fields from the southern cell. This area provides food and a habitat source to a wide variety of birds and other wildlife. Here's a tip, the winter months are best for bird watching. The county worked with the Sarasota Audubon Society to restore 100 plus acres into a more traditional wetland. All right, everyone, hope you enjoyed the hike up Mount Sarasota. Yeah. <laughs> it is hot out here today. It is hot, and we're not hikers, but we had a great time. So if you're going to be in Manatee or Sarasota counties in the near future, please don't forget to come to the Celery Fields. It's a great place, um, and you've learned all about it. You can find it on the web as well. You can also find us on the web at floridacanbeyours.com. And you can also call or text us at 239-940-3512. And please share us on Facebook and Instagram. Absolutely. We, the responses we're getting is phenomenal. We really do appreciate all your help. Yes, and we are trying to answer some of your questions. Uh, and, of course, it's been about park, rec parks and recreations. So please continue to communicate to us. We're going to do our best to show you everything we can in Sarasota and Manatee counties. And until next time. We'll see you we'll soon. See you soon. All right, bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.